What's up you guys? Avery here. Wanted to bring you guys a video because I haven't posted in like two days and I need to post because I'm going to be gone for like three days. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it. I'm sorry if I sound tired. Uh, I had a long day at work today, um, but I still wanted to put out a couple videos for you guys. Uh, and this is going to be the first one of tonight talking about, let's be honest, Paleozoic is tier one, you guys. Um... It, the six, a 60 card Paleozoic build one YCS prog. Uh, it ha <coughs> excuse me, it has two back to back YCS wins now. Um, it's obviously going to get hit on the ban list now. I think that that's just a given. Um, would I say that it's better than Zodiac? I think that's up to interpretation. Honestly, I'm going to say that it is better than Zodiac. Um, there's no denying it. I feel like that it is officially the best deck of the format. I think that Paleozoic is. Um, first, uh, Zodiac is a very close second or tied for first, and then we have um, Infernoid variants in general, 60 card, 40 card, whatever it is that you want to do. Um, the fact that it won two back to back, I'm very disappointed with, unfortunately. Um, Zodiac, like Capital G said, Zodiac has made itself into a deck to where it has to be able to have enough cards in its main deck or side deck to combat the mirror. And the problem is, if it's not playing another zoo deck, it has a little bit of trouble. I know this to be true for myself because of the fact that I have a tough invoked uh, artifact matchup or just invoked matchup in general. Um, <coughs> I happen to get lucky beating uh, my friend Travis. Shout out to you, Travis. <laughs> um the other day at locals, um, playtesting for my upcoming regional, of course, on April 1st, and uh, I beat him game two, I 2 owed him, but I beat him game two only because of the fact that I top deck Zodiac Barrage, I was able to go off, he had one card in his hand, which was a monster for Mechaba, um, he wasted it on my invoker, which he shouldn't have done, if he hadn't done that, he probably would have won the game, um, and I was just, I was able to win because of it. And, I mean, other than situations like that where you're able to just flat out win with Zodiac against whatever deck you're playing against, it's a hard grind. Um, especially the Paleozoic matchup, I know for me, is always difficult because of the fact that Paleozoic has so much back row. Like, it runs 30 plus traps in the deck. So, and if a lot of people start playing the 60 card build now with triple breakthrough skill, you won't even be able to play Danko or Genzo. It won't even matter. So people will have to start playing Royal Decree, which you can't really do in Zoo because at the very least you're playing, at the very bare minimum least, you're playing six traps consisting of three D-Barrier and three Solemn Strike. Well, actually, no, at the very least seven with combo because you have to play combo. So... I think Paleozoic's really starting to uh, take over. I think people are seeing that it is just a deck that can flat out defeat Zodiac and just has good matchups overall. It's a very control based deck where if you know how to play it and you know how to really um, use your card economy and card advantage to your advantage, you're just going to flat out win the game. Um, whereas Zodiac, on the other hand, you pretty much just bomb it out on the board. Like me, I play Kaiju Zodiac, and I was just playtesting a hand where I opened up Twin Twister, Barrage, and Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. And, you know, going first, the hand's busted, and going second, it's busted, because for my sixth card, I drew a second Twin Twister, and I just used Twin Twister, Pitch Torrential, Blow Away their Black Row, uh, Kaiju Slumber their monsters, and then Barrage for game. Like, there's not much thinking involved with the deck, and you just need to really bomb it out your board and not misplay like an, an idiot, like I admittedly did. <laughs> um, but what does this say about the format as a whole? What does this say about getting a ban list? I hope to God not on March 31st or April 1st. Konami, if you're listening, do not drop it, af drop it after that point, but not on those days. <laughs> what does it say about the format as a whole? It says that... People are not only learning, but people are adapting, and people are realizing that Paleozoic is pretty much just flat out better. Unless Zoo really takes it to heart that they need to main deck or side deck cards for the Paleozoic matchup, then they're just going to have a tough time, and they're probably just going to lose. Um, all, all these other decks besides Paleo just have such a tough time against Paleozoic that it's just not even funny. The majority of these, anyway. 
Um, I didn't watch the final feature match, so I don't know what happened in finals. Um, but I just know for me personally as a player going against Paleo, I know from the moment I see them setting five and activating Paleo traps that it's going to be a grind, and they're probably just going to outgrind you if the player is good enough. Um, let me know what you guys think about this win. Personally, I'm kind of disheartened just because of the fact that you know, I want to see Zoo win, and granted, I, I am obviously personally biased towards the deck because I spent over $700 on this deck. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to make a good chunk of my money back, although the Invoker reprint just got announced, and I bought my Invoker for 55 because it was partially damaged. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you guys, sorry if this sounds like lack of enthusiasm. It's just... Paleo does what it does. It sets a bunch of back row, it activates a bunch of back row, it plays with its diddly while it beats you, and that's really it. It's like Chamberburn 2.0, but it's actually good. So, let me know what you guys think about Paleo winning a second YCS back-to-back. -back. Um, I was really hoping that Zoo would pull it out, but other than that, thank you guys for watching as always, and now it's time to make a video about Jeff Jones breaking Link something. <laughs>